Opening up all the brand new accessories that come out of a Bernina 480 is always a highlight for me. Uh, there is three, well, there's two bags, but don't forget there's a buttonhole foot that's way at the bottom of the box. So if you didn't find that, make sure you go find that. It's down when the sewing machine is sitting in the bottom styrofoam. But there is a little picture in your manual that will help you know where all the little tools fit. And this is a magnetic accessory box. So there's two magnetic points that actually, well actually, and there's some at the bottom here that kind of click on. So when it just comes back, it just kind of finds itself and attaches to the machine. You do need to have the presser foot down for that to actually work. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's all empty, brand new, ready to fill in. I know when we were first using this with some of our Bernina accessories, we sometimes called it a little doll house because that's what it kind of feels like every place has its own little home as we go so let me just get some of the feet out I'll kind of explain them as we put them in and so since we have the buttonhole foot this is an automatic buttonhole foot it'll be labeled as 3a so you'll be able to tell the machine how long you want the button hole to be based on putting a button on a measuring part of the screen and then that foot will do it perfectly for you. Other feet that come with this machine, there's a regular presser foot on the machine now. There is, that's a number 1C. Number 5 is a blind hem foot and you just tip these down and in. Number four is a zipper foot, which is such a nice foot. It is probably the most well-designed zipper foot that I've ever used. And then a 2A foot, which is an overlock foot. So if you don't have a serger, that's your um, overlock stitched foot. When you pick a, a stitch on the machine that is an overlock stitch, it will even tell you to put on that foot, which is awesome. Now, I have a serger, so sometimes my serger doesn't have the right thread on it, and I need to know that that foot is right at my fingertips so I can do that stitch without having to re-thread my serger for, say, something quite short in distance. Okay, so that was one package. Then this package has all the other cool tools or toys. Um, this is a collection of bobbins. These are those jumbo bobbins. If you like extra bobbins, you're going to need to go get more of them. And then there is an exact way they fit into these openings here. You need to put the silver side on the right and then they'll slide in. If you flip them over, they don't fit. One side is actually bigger than the other. The silver side does um, go into the bobbin case only one way. It only allows you to wind the bobbin one way. So these are like trouble free bobbin so you can't do anything wrong on those but you can try to put these in wrong so make sure that silver sides to the side uh, that silver part and the holes are all linked to the sensor that will tell you your bobbin's low and you notice that you actually have multiple parts over here when you go to take them out just push down on one of these little levers and it will let the bobbin roll into your hand which is so nice and handy these are always handy for other things you decide what you want to put on them so usually i find my my students keep these for other uses. Okay, the most important part in here for me is the oiling tool. So this is your oil. Don't try to use any other sewing machine oil. This is the perfect oil for it. It's an oil pen. And I'm going to show you how you need to oil and why you need to oil every time you sit down to sew on this machine. Trust me, a little drop every day that you sew is great. You have a little drawer down here. Oh, you know what else is in this drawer is another holder for some of the smaller feet. There are larger feet holders for the feet that have the eye extending off to the side. So those will fit down in this area and as you buy certain feet those will need to fit in the lower deck of those so that's the one foot that comes with it that's already has that feature these little guys can fit up in this little area here you've got spool caps that can go in the drawer or even down here if you don't have feet in their way you've got a brush a seam ripper and a screwdriver and a smaller spool cap so i like to keep my caps in that area down here but you can also keep them in some of these areas close by if you're not actually using them and then you do have a pack of needles so these are just assorted universal needles we do have some videos i'll put a link right up here to where you can learn more about needles like 
a double needle or a stretch needle or a denim needle, uh, we have a whole playlist that you can take a look. So this will get you started. So we'll just leave those down there and uh, we'll talk about like how often you need to change um, needles and, and such. These you can change out. You, if you don't have them where you want them, you can actually slide these guys out and put them back in. But we'll just leave that down here. The oil will fit down there. You can close it all up. It will sit. Oh, it's white. I forgot about this little guy. That is a height compensation tool. I'll show you how to use that when we go over something really thick like a denim seam. So that is right there. It just blended into my table. So after you get all your accessories put away to your liking, we are ready to stitch.